Alrighty then, kumusta? Mali kayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. Today, I will be reacting to another TNT performance. Tawang ng tanghalan. And it will be a Marco Rudio performance. Yes, indeed. I have reacted to Marco a couple of times. Once on TNT and once on ASAP Latinto, which makes sense because both shows are owned by ABS-CBN. This time around, Marco Rudio will be performing on TNT the very popular Glock 9 song, Upuan, all right? And I've never reacted to the original song because I heard it, you know, on my own, on my couch, without a camera in front of me. But I have reacted to somebody else cover this song and guess what? It was on TNT and that was Ralph Mariano. You can check out my reaction if you want to. And I thought at the time that he did a wonderful job. But he is that type of Filipino artist that, is, that has a penchant uh, towards, you know, reggae. You know what I'm saying? But Marco Rudio is different. So I'm very curious to see how he is going to be delivering this uh, this song to us. Is he going to stick to the original, you know, or is he going to make it his own? If I had to guess, I think he's going to make it his own. That's the, 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 the impression that I had of Marco Rudio when I reacted to him the first time. Like he is an artist with a big A, you know, like he is capable of making songs you know, of changing them, you know, and putting his own style in it. But uh, before we start, I will be reducing the opacity of this video in order to avoid angering the copyright gods. And of course, consider subscribing to the channel and of course liking the video because it does help with the youtube algorithm and of course make sure to follow me on instagram at music game news because that is where you can dm your suggestions and without further ado let's jump right into it Here we go. Beautiful start, vocally speaking, but I can't help but notice, like the first time I reacted to Marco Rodio, of course you will notice the big uh, holes, you know, in his ears, like the huge uh, earrings, right? And this time around, he, other, he added another earring inside of that hole. You know what I'm saying? Damn. That was a beautiful introduction. And uh, in the original song, you know, you got Glock 9, who obviously is a very popular Filipino rapper. Okay, so in this song, he raps, but he's not the only artist that is featured on this song. There is a female uh, artist called Giacel Grutas, and she's the one that sings. And since Marco Rudio is a, you know, is a singer, he can actually do both because he is also a rapper and I'm sure he's gonna kill the, uh, the rapping portion of the song. Oh. 
Okay, he definitely made it his own just by his energy, you know, his energy and his intensity and the emotions that he is capable of vehiculing, you know, uh, to the audience and to the listener. There is a big difference between his performance and the performance of, what was his name again? Uh, Ralph Mariano on TNT. If my memory serves me correctly, Ralph Mariano did not have props on stage. You know, he was just standing with the microphone and delivering a cover of the song. But uh, Mr. Mark Rudio, first of all, he has like a, a huge chair, which is very reminiscent to a king's uh, throne. You know what I'm saying? Because it's really big. And then he has like all these props around him. So it makes the performance a lot more dramatic. Plus, you add to it his energy, you know, it just makes this performance pretty memorable and we're not even at the half of it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, good, Madilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the original one is a hip hop song, like an old school hip hop song. It's groovy, it's got rhythm, you know what I'm saying? This version is not, it's not really hip hop in my opinion. It's like alternative rock infused with a little bit of hip hop. I mean, even the rapping portion of the song, he is kind of belting it out, you know? He's rapping, but he's really pushing his vocals. Glock 9 does not push his vocals when he sings this song, you know, he just raps. But he is doing it differently. It's very intense. And now it became uh, kind of reggaeton. You know, this reggaeton rhythm is not in the original song, right? Unless I'm mistaken, but I don't think so. Jonah! My God, he owned it 1000%. Seriously, he gave me chills. I can barely recognize the song. He transformed it thanks to his energy and the intensity that he put in the rap. Did you see he started like rapping a lot faster and it seems like he's like talking to us. You know what I'm saying? Really trying to convey a message. Yeah, 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 the, it's completely different from the original. The original feels a lot more laid back and chill and groovy. Uh, musically speaking, I'm not talking about the, the lyrics and the meaning of the song. He's got a golden microphone too. Wow! Wow! That was impressive. That was impressive, man. Wow! He is a colorful person. You know, like he stand out. He stands out from the crowd, whether it be physically, obviously because of his style, but also vocally. Like, like I said, an artist with a big A. 
he does not conform to the rules of the industry he's not vanilla okay let's just say like that he's not vanilla like this guy is like you know chocolate and 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 uh pistachio and strawberry and you can add a lot of stuff on top of it you know like he's so colorful that was insane that last note you know with a little bit of growl that came out with the texture yo he's uh he's very it's it's very interesting because when you look at him and you hear his vocal tone you're like yeah this guy could definitely be a a rock star like sing rock music you know but the couple of times i reacted to him he also rapped so clearly he enjoys rapping as well i like him i really like him man um he made a, a stronger impression on me this time around and i would definitely put him as one of the uh maybe not best filipino male artist i mean why not right uh but uh the the male filipino artist to look out for seriously wow that was that was something i i get it i get why you guys asked me to react to it let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this reimagining of the song like clearly i can barely recognize it so please let me know in the comment section below Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, if you found value in this reaction video, then do not hesitate to check out my other videos right here.